What up everybody, this is Izonk, thanks for tuning in. About 4 months ago I made a tier list for Street Fighter V, ranking all characters 45 to 1, and it's time to revisit that list in this final season of Street Fighter. We've been underway a couple of months now, we've seen a lot of tourney results, so it's time to revisit this list. At number 45 I'm ranking Zangief this season. He is the ultimate guest character and they did give him small buffs to his combos, but it's not enough to really help him in my opinion. Same goes for Blanca, he's the ultimate just do it character. They did buff his buttons and his combos, but it's not enough to keep him afloat in my opinion. And that also goes for number 43, our dear Rainbow Mika. She got good buffs, but the archetype is just not what gives consistent results. For number 42 I picked Dan, I did move him up 3 spots and I do think that he already had good close pressure, but the buffs to his neutral, the buttons, and also the buffs to his V system. I think that's enough to move him up a little bit here. Putting him at 42. 41 we have Abigail and he did get some minor buffs to the V scale mostly. But the rest got more buffs and I also think I just ranked him too high last, last season. Same goes for Birdie, I dropped him 8 spots when he didn't really get worse but the rest just got better and maybe I was a little bit too high on Birdie because of his good neutral. 39 we have Lucia. They did buffer and I did like the buffs, but they were all to the part of her V system that was never picked. So overall I don't think Lucia is that much better. At number 38 this season we have Fang again. And I don't really know what to do with Fang. I don't really like the character, I don't like the design, but Mono did win a big tournament with him. So is that the player or the character? I don't know. 37 Honda, I did drop him 7 spots, but that's because I had him too high last time. I really like the buffs they gave his beast system one. I like how he turned out. I don't really like how Sagat turned out over all these seasons. They buffed him every patch, again this patch. And besides a couple of handy buffs, it's a lot of stuff he doesn't need. Nash is slowly trending up after years of suckage. It's nothing amazing, but he's a solid character now. At number 34, I put Ibuki. Also, status quo, they buffed her, they gave her a new move, but in the grand scheme of things, her problems are probably the same. It's bad neutral, she has pretty low health, not an easy character to win with. At number 33, we have Gil, and they gave him some big buffs to his V-Skill 1, just making him a better character in matchups where he doesn't need the V-Skill 2 parry. I like what they did to him. I don't like what they did to Laura. She's been trending down, she got some small buffs but also some surprising small nerfs and yeah, she's trending down. Vega also, they didn't change him that much besides some quality of life stuff. Don't really see how he's gonna move up. At number 30 we have Kage and I did move him up 10 spots. He's the first big riser. I moved him up 10 spots because he got a Potori of buffs to his normals. His neutral is better now and that was his worst part, it went to, it went from bad to meh. And that is the big step up for a character like this. I like what they did to Kage. 29 Minot, trending down, she got one real buff, a new move, but it's not that game changing for her. Maybe I was a little bit too high on Minot. Rose is trending up, a big riser here. Two balance patches with big buffs. In my opinion she's now a middle of the pack character and I think that's a good spot to be. Well here's Yurian our biggest drop. The Yurian mains were crying and for good reason because he went from top tier, number 3 on my previous list, to a pretty me mediocre character. The EX headbutt no longer being invincible on wake up, that really hurts. Number 26 Ryu, he got a lot of buffs to his damage output but the characters around him just got more buffs and everything is pretty close in this range. Number 25, Oro, I moved him up, only 4 spots, but I do think his buffs are really good. And his Tango Stones are still intact, so yeah, that best V trigger in the game in my opinion. 24, we have Nakali, and he's a huge riser. He has better Oki, better Crush Counter, better Specials, he does more damage, he has a better V skill, the Ground Pound. Just really think his neutral is better now. Moved him up 18 spots, and I honestly think Nakali is a character you could be winning with now. Number 23, Alex. He got a lot of buffs, but so did the characters around him. He still suffers for being a grappler, but at least he got good neutral. In my opinion, he is the best grappler right now. 
I moved Ed up a little bit too. He was already pretty decent. And they gave him a new move to convert that 1 2 3 flicker. It makes him a very annoying character in neutral. 21 Sakura. Sakura got small buffs compared to the others, and that means she's slowly trending down. At number 20, we have G. He got buffs to his lesser USV system. He's a good character, I like him, but I think he's a little bit limited because of his bad defense. At 19, we have Seth, who was already good, and he's kind of the same this final season, in my opinion. That's why he's trending down. The other characters are just a little bit buffed more. Like Akira, for instance. I've been playing her, like you guys know, and I moved her up a little bit because of the buffs to her V-Trigger, too. I think Akira is a dangerous up-close character with good mix-ups, pretty decent neutral. I really like this character, I think she's good. 18 is a good spot for her. Number 17 we have Akuma, he got a lot of buffs to his V-Skill 2 and V-Trigger 2, but I'm not sure if overall that actually makes him a better character because V-Skill 1 and V-Trigger 1 are just a little bit better by design I think. Falk makes a big jump, she was already pretty good, but giving her EX conversions on already annoying neutral, she's pretty gorilla right now. Paul feels also a great, great player. I'm 0-6 against that guy. Colleen got nerfed slightly and she was already trending down, so they nerfed her best button now. Putting her at 15, still good but not great. For Jury, there's a huge jump here, and that's in part because I rated her just too low. In reality, she jumped up maybe 5 or 10 spots, but because I had her too low, I moved her up 17. Chun Li at number 9 also had her a bit too low last time. She has better combo conversions, more V trigger one time, more V trigger options. Always been a good character. Bullrock got nerfed to his uh, tap, his anti projectile, and his V skill 2 is no longer plus on block, so he's dropping out of the top 10. And at number 11, my very own Cody. He moves up basically because of the buffs to his V trigger. His V trigger 1 gives him even more damage now, and his V trigger 2 buff. Puts the opponent in a flow state, making it a really annoying, annoying character in neutral. At number 10, Karin trending down, relies on footsies and she got her, bu uh, her buttons nerfed a bit. So that isn't great, but still good in my opinion. I have Zeku moving up, trending up, but not as much as I thought. They buffed his V-Skill 1 a lot, they buffed his combo options. I think he's good, but not great. Number 8, M. Bison, also trending up. Big buffs to his damage output, very dangerous character, and not that hard to play. I think Bison was rated a little low maybe, number 8 is good. Number 7, Guile, Mr. Consistency, he is a solid character, he's not really moving up or down, he's a good character, a top 10 character for sure. At number 6 we have Rashid, got another nerf to his EX Mixer, but it doesn't hurt him as much as like for instance Urien. He's still fast, great neutral, great corner control. They even let him keep his mix up there, crazy. Now Ken got buffed again, in my opinion his character is so good right now. And the best part of his kit is his heavy DP. Put some footage here from uh, Rush G. You should definitely give him a follow and join his Discord, great guy. Number 4, Kami. She got a bit more whiff punishable and she got less health now, it makes her trend down a bit, but she's still one of the strongest characters in the game. Number 3, Dal Sim, same deal. They nerfed him a little bit, but he's just fundamentally so good that it doesn't matter what you take away from him. He's never going to be a bad character. Number two, Poison. They actually took nothing away from her. This character is just as good as she always was. So definitely a great character. I put her at number two this season. And the number one character who got nerfed twice and is still the best character, clearly in my opinion, is Luke. Still has great AA, anti-air, great neutral, great whiff punish buttons, great damage output, good V system. This character has no weaknesses, still doesn't have any weaknesses. And in my opinion, clearly the best character in Street Fighter V the final season. So this is my ranking 1 to 45. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers within a couple of months, so help me out, alright? Thank you for watching, really appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you on the next video, alright? Take care, peace.